know when we were in sin, Christ died for us. That's what the word of God says. When we are still sinners, Christ died for us. If we look our life, how many times do we want to come back to our own sense? How many times do we want to, to come to our own sense and start looking the whole of your life? Which area do you need forgiveness? Which area do you need deliverance? Which area do you need to go to tell people to forgive you? You know the pain you have left with many people. You know the lies that you have, you have been spreading of people who are innocent. All these things are, it can come true when you sit down and come to your own sense. This man, after suffering, when we suffer, it is the time that we can be able, in the time of suffering, majority of us is the time that we sit down and come to our own sense. What image do we have of ourselves? What, do we, what image do we have of our own self? Sometimes you hear different information about you. People observe and make analysis of, of your personality. And it is difficult for you to accept their conclusion concerning you. Because it tears you apart. To some degree you agree with the way people see, see you. But not always. Sometimes you hear different information about you. People can criticize you. People can call you any, any, any nicknames they want. But they can't make you to be that. No one can force you to do things which are not right. You make plans for the future or to, the, to the extent you think of yourself perfectly as someone dealing with something that has long-term continuity. Don't fail to see that problems of yourself can be solved. This young man knew that his problem would be solved only going back to his father. Some of our problems will be solved when we go back to the father. Some of our problems will be solved after we have come back to our own sense. Some of our problems will be solved when we, we cry for, for, to God to forgive us. What is your attitude of, of the outcomes? Do they affect you, people, who are easily discouraged by failures? Bear in mind that you can be taught new coping strategies to deal with, your, with those failures. I can see that this man, after going back to his father, his life was completely changed. I can see his attitude that his attitude, he humbles himself. He didn't go back to his father boasting that after misusing your money, I'm back. No. But this son went back to his father. He humbled himself. And that is the time that he got the, the repentance. You will get repentance when you humble yourself. When you kneel down and say, I, I sinned. The Bible clearly says that this man said, I have sinned to you, Father. I have sinned to you, Father. How many times do we say we have sinned? How many times do we justify ourselves for things we know we have done, which is wrong? This young man knew the secret of failure. This man knows the strategies of solving his problems was to go back to his father. He knew the, the source of his, of his of the source of his strength is back to the father. He knew and he knew very well of the friends. There are friends who are there. They are your friends because of what you have. There are friends who are there because they can be able, you can be able to solve some of their problems. But they are not friends of you when you are in trouble. The Bible says that no one could be able to give this young man anything good. No wonder he was very rich. But the Bible says that when he's, he was in want, the time that he was looking to get something, that time no one was there to give him anything. 
It's good to sit down and look at the friends that you have. Why are they? They are friends that we don't need them in our lives. Sometimes they have a lot of drama in their lives. Sometimes they are the source of the problems that you have in your lives. How many times do you sit down and, 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 and look what type of friends do you have? In the book of Luke, we could see very well, Luke 15, we could be able to see very well that the Bible says that this, this young man, after taking all his, his shares of the money that he was given to the, by the father, all the friends in the wild life, in that life, which is not right biblically, the evil lives, he met friends who are just there because of what he was in the pocket. It's something which is very, very sad this, to, to speak about. When you have wasted all what you have in evil living. My question is, why did he choose to go to a long distance to waste his resources? Me and you we can be able to repent. It doesn't matter what we have done. But when we humble ourselves and come to God and tell God, this is what I have done. God forgive me. This young man knew the secrets. He knew where he could be delivered. His deliverance was to, the, to go back to the father. The deliverance was to go back to his father. He knew his problems would be solved after going back to his father. He knew what he had suffered. Only his father can be able to solve some problems. There are problems you can call anyone, but you might have a solution. This young man, people who saw this man, young man looking after pigs, no one knew that he has come from a, a rich family. No one knew that this young man, that his father was so rich. But when he, come, when he sit down and come back to his own sense, he really knew very well that his father was so rich than even the owner of the pigs. And he took the step of faith to go back to his father. I would like to tell you that you know what is really happening with your lives. You can sit down with a counselor for 50 minutes, 100 minutes, but you really know there are people who are looking for help, but every time they want to lie. They don't want to go straight to the point of their weakness and problems. And that is where their solution is. This young man knew. He really knew very well even when he was working that, in that job of looking for pigs, after pigs, he really knew very well that he did got a chance of having all what he has, but he wasted. How many times do, we, do you waste what you have? How many times do you buy things that you don't need them because you want to waste the money that you have? How many times do you do things that you don't even need them? How many times do you go to, 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 to use your credit card to buy things that you don't even need them? Why do we waste our resources? This young man knew. He learned, he learned it in a hard way. He went back to the father. I can see a man who his life was completely changed. We can be able to sit down and ask ourselves, what am I doing? My father, my mother is not here. What am I doing now? Can I be able to do whatever I want to do in these streets? Because no one can be able to ask me. The consequences, there is consequences. There are fruits that you can be helped by people to carry them. But the fruits of your action, you eat on your own. May God bless you so much. You can contact me. My name is Pastor Amos Gugi of Acts of Compassion Ministries. I can pray for you. We do counseling here Monday up to Friday. 
the code of good practice of, of us is we can't breach the confidentiality. I have good news. Come back to your own sense. Come back to your own sense. After coming back to your own sense, you can be able to make right decisions. You can be able to go back to where the problem is. You know the source of the problem. This young man knew very well the source of his problems was with the father. He knew that is all where the problem can be resolved. May God of heavens bless you. Go back to your own sense. Take a day, sit down and see what you have been doing. And when we come back to our own sense, we can be able to go back to the people that we have offended and, and tell them sorry. We can be able to contact them and tell them that we are sorry. It is when we go back to our own sense. To go back to my own, to the topic was, stop and look before you hit the rock bottom. The rock bottom means is after you have wasted all your resources. May God bless you so much. I believe that the message has blessed you so much. I want to hear from you. You can contact me and may God bless you. Thank you.